First, using a cosmological dataset, we demonstrate how we construct a view-dependent virtual retractor. We can turn off the view dependency and see the whole structure of the retractor and the mesh. Next, we demonstrate our interactions to update the retractor. We can change its length or orientation, change its width, or change the position of its center and the depth of the center. We can add force to deform the data to explore the inner structure. Next, we show an example of using the virtual retractor to remove occlusion on the viscous fluid dataset. A hidden cluster behind the surface is revealed. Now we demonstrate how our deformation keeps feature shapes by using its density-based stiffness settings. First, we use the density-based stiffness and add a small fourth on the mesh. Then we increase the force. Next, we change to the uniform stiffness to compare. Now we show an example of exploring the neck dataset. To open up the dataset, we add a virtual retractor using density-based stiffness. Then we change to the transfer density-based stiffness as described in section 6.2. We show another example of exploring an MR head dataset. We add a virtual retractor using density-based stiffness. Then we change to the gradient-based stiffness as described in section 6.2. Now we show a demo of a user applying our system with a leap motion and a virtual reality headset. Thanks for watching.